Today we are making a pumpkin cheesecake that's just like the one you can buy in stores. I recently tried Dea's pumpkin cheesecake and fell in love with the taste and texture. Their cheese is not my favorite, but they definitely have the best cheesecake on market. So today I wanted to make a copycat recipe and see if I can make the same version at home. If you've been watching my channel, you know that this is a part of my recipe series where I take popular vegan items and recreate them simply and affordably. Recently, I have made a spicy McNugget, a Cheo cheese, and even took a swing at the Beyond Steak. But I wanted to sweeten it up for the holidays with this DIY Daya cheesecake recipe. Let's get started. I bought a pre-made graham cracker crust, but you can make your own by simply blending together graham crackers and vegan butter in a blender and then pressing into your pie pan. Store in a freezer until ready for use. I am using a fresh pumpkin for this recipe, but canned is fine as well. Prepare one cup and set aside. To make the filling, add one container of tofu to a blender. This can be silken or firm. Use approximately 12 ounces. Then blend in 1 fourth cup of light brown sugar, 1 tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, a half a cup of coconut milk, a half a cup of maple syrup, and a half a cup of melted coconut oil. Then add two tablespoons of lemon juice and one teaspoon of vanilla extract or one vanilla bean. Add in one teaspoon of exanthian gum. This is optional but will help thicken and bind the mixture. It's a great product to have on hand. I use it to make my own creamy dressings, vegan mayo, and sauces. I'll place a link for where you can purchase in the comment and description box below. Next, add in your one cup of pumpkin puree and a pinch of salt and blend until smooth. Add to a saucepan and heat, stirring constantly until hot. This allows the brown sugar to melt and blend with the butter and pumpkin perfectly. Once heated through, add in three tablespoons of tapioca starch or flour and stir until incorporated. If the mixture is too clumpy, you may need to pour back into the blender and pulse until smooth. Pour the filling on top of the crust and place in the fridge to set completely. This will take at least four to six hours, or I prefer to leave it overnight. I followed most of the ingredients listed on the Daya Cheesecake package, but left out the potato starch, pea protein, and some of the extra additives. And this one tastes just like the kind you buy at the store. If you try it out, make sure you come back and let me know what you think in the comment box below, or you can tag me on Instagram with your creation. This is great on its own, but I'm going to make a quick caramel topper and finish it with some toasted pecans. To prepare the caramel sauce, set a pan over a medium high heat and add in three tablespoons of unsalted vegan butter, a half cup of maple syrup, one cup of sifted confection sugar, and one eighth teaspoons of salt. Then bring to a simmer, stirring constantly. Continue to simmer at a low heat for a few minutes, stirring constantly until the sauce has thickened slightly. Remove from the heat and let the sauce cool. Once the caramel sauce is ready, spoon it out over the top of the cheesecake and decorate with crushed pecans. Thank you. 
You can also add a dollop of some vegan whipped cream. I have a homemade recipe found right over here. Make sure to pin this recipe and save it for later and check out all of my fall and holiday recipes. Mahalo, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the kitchen.